Good Wednesday morning everyone. Another nice start to the day with temperatures right around 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies will be partly cloudy throughout the day today with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures will get up into the upper 70s today unless you're on the lakefront. We're looking at upper 60s and low 70s and we'll likely see a few isolated afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms and they'll be mainly confined in the lower interior sections of the peninsula as we're looking at a bit of a front that'll start to approach the area going into tomorrow. Plus we have this swirl over western Pennsylvania that's going to try and slide a little bit west at the same time our next front is moving east so rain chances will be on the rise over the next 24 hours they'll be more significant though as we head to your thursday afternoon and evening when that front makes it into our area and that front right now still well out to the west so we're not looking at any cold air across the area still looking at some significant warmth and well above average temperatures for highs today and also the overnight lows but watch how futurecast paints the isolated nature to the showers and storms today eight o'clock this morning nothing out there right now but watch what happens over the next two to three four hour period beyond then we're looking at a bit of an isolated pattern with the showers and storms. Some here, some there. So not everybody going to see the rain, but over the Great Lakes today, enough warmth and moisture will be out there to give rise to a few showers and storms. Better chances, though, with the next cold front. This is 10 o'clock tonight. By tomorrow morning, it'll still be west of Lake Michigan, but as it moves into the area tomorrow afternoon with the start of some sunshine, we'll start to cloud up and then gradually add those rain chances in to Thursday afternoon and evening. Also lasting into Friday morning and look at Friday's highs in comparison to where we've been significantly cooler, just a little bit below the average, which is 65. As we go to Saturday and Sunday, ugh, wish I had better news for you moms out there. Mother's Day not looking the prettiest right now. We'll actually see lake enhanced and lake effect rain showers Saturday and Sunday. But then as we look ahead to Monday and Tuesday, check this out. It gets even cooler, especially for the overnight lows. Now I have to watch Sunday night and Monday morning very closely. If you've already planted some of those plants, sensitive plants outside, we possibly will see a little bit of frost Sunday night into Monday morning. This is not going to be a huge widespread hard freeze, which could create problems for some of the crops that have already started. But we're looking at a pretty significant cool down with well below average lows Monday morning and then Tuesday afternoon. We're already rebounding back into the 70s, so a short-lived cold snap on the way.